we doing? We're going fishing. What time is it? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh. And we're going fishing with Arturo. Five minutes and we're really in the middle of nowhere. So he's got these C cell battery powered lights for the poles. So they do six hooks for each one bottle and then ten bottles for each one stick, oh. stick pole, stick. piece of bamboo, and a little black flag. He just tosses them in and they, and they float yeah. because the, the bamboo floats so. They put enough weight on it so it floats, you know, three or four feet out of the water. Si. Mala. Mala. That's a true fisherman right there. Look at those knots he's tying. So what he's doing is lashing on the weights for the bottom of the flags. He's got five or six of these flags and they just, the weights hold the bamboo down and, and the, the buoyancy of the bamboo hold, holds the flag straight up. That's a f***ing lot of calamari, dude. Entonces, ¿cuándo pagas por los calamares por una noche? Catorce mil colones, veinticuatro dólares. ¿Y esas cosas solamente son para flotar la línea sí. o, o para marcarlo? Para marcar eh, la, la calones, sí. para flotarlo. Ah. Okay, so here's the big picture. At the end of this night, we want a mile long line that's suspended one meter below the water with 500 hooks on it. All of these hooks have about a meter long leader and a squid hanging there at the end. And I guess this looks tasty to dolphin fish because we're going to pull in a bunch of them. At the beginning of the night, he's got this big fiberglass tub with the line all coiled up inside and uh, the hooks on the rim. So as soon as he threw the first pole in, which is attached to the line, he had James drive the boat so the line would be pulled out by that pole that's already in the water. Now all he has to do is bait the hooks and chuck them in. Now he puts squid on the next hook and then waits till the line to be pulled out and throws it in. Squid on the hook, line pulls, he flings it out and again until he's flung six hooks. Then he attaches one of the plastic bottles as a floaty onto the line and chucks that in. And then again, squid on the hook, line being pulled out, he chucks it in six times, new bottle, and so on and so on. Pretty monotone work. Now just take a quick look at the amount of hooks that he has to bait and throw in. And you just have to ask yourself, how the hell he does that every night and additionally all by himself because that's how he works most of the time alone the whole operation lasted for about four hours so we started at two we drove out for about 45 minutes 
he threw all the hooks out, James made himself useful and I was just distracting them and filming all this stuff for you guys. So at 5 o'clock in the morning we're in the middle of the darkness somewhere in the Gulf of Nicoya and um, it was time for a little nap. We got an hour or two until the sun rose and it was time to pull the line in. It's kind of scary with these hooks flying at me. <laughs> I bet. We never saw those floaties, we always only saw the sticks. I, I didn't even ever see the floating bottles. No. Look how spaced out they are, they're way spaced out. Yeah. I was always looking for the other one. I was always looking for the other flag, but the, they're way far, you can't even see them. So, <sighs> we slept. We're, we're done, and now we're gonna lift these things up. And he says that we're gonna have 60. <laughs> what do you say? I say we're gonna have. Well, I'm, well, I'm pretty lucky, so I'm, I think we're gonna have like 75. <laughs> what about Marlins? No, but I hope we get our Kobe. That'd be cool. That's where we slept. By the way. Oh. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy. <yeah. gasps> hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Mahi! Look at him go! Look at him, they beautiful, bonita! Hey! Hold the bunch, we're gonna have a bunch. Guess what else you catch with the long line, other than mahi mahi that is? Knots. Yep, lots of knots. If you've ever been fishing, and you've gotten a knot in your fishing line, you know it is a pain in the butt to get it out. And Arturo was a maestro at getting out knots. And even so, we spent at least 45 minutes that day waiting for Arturo to get knots out of the line. I've never seen someone work that fast with knots, though, I swear. He's just ripping them right out. He nails them in the head with that thing. We need one of those, dude. Yes, son. In the side of the head, right in the brain. Kills them and then just rips them right out. Wow! Now watch, he's not dead. Now he's dead. That's all it took. He's dead. He's fighting. That's a modified fisherman's knot. We're good with knots, brother. So instead of just tying one fisherman's knot, he ties two stopper knots. And then he makes sure they're nice. Boom. That's how that's how he puts it together. Oh see? See it's a good one. It's a good one man. Just gotta pull them in again. That's a good one. Yeah! Damn, that 
that's a good fish. Look at that guy. Yeah. Quantos kilos? Quantos? Bueno. Check all these fish. We're not even done. Almost, but we're not. All in all, at the end of the morning, we had 47 mahi, four barriletes, and three mackerel. He sold all the fish to the local restaurants at $3 a kilo, and he even gave us the biggest one. What a guy. Thank you, Arturo, for letting us into your life. We were sleeping for probably a day after this, and he went back out fishing that night. I think we just gutted that fish and slept for like 12 hours. <laughs>